Tonight it is all about the weather as a heat advisory goes into effect tomorrow morning. The advisory comes on what's expected to be the hottest day of the year so far. And if that's not enough, we also have a chance of severe storms later in the day. Senior meteorologist Matt Wentz is here to break it all down. It's a lot, Matt. Yeah, Matt, it certainly is. We also have an air quality alert as well tomorrow, but we're so used to that that we don't really need to discuss that a whole lot. But the main story tomorrow is the heat because heat can be dangerous. I know we've said it a million times. I'm not going to tell you you need to drink water tomorrow. You know that you can take care of yourself, but we want to make sure with that we are taking those precautions tomorrow. So big old dome of heat in the Plain States. We've been tracking this since it was out west towards Phoenix. It happens every summer shifts west and east. Well, now it's shifting east and that becomes a problem for us as we start to crank those temperatures tomorrow. You notice there's widespread heat, heat alerts all the way from I-95 up to Boston, New York City, the major hubs back into the areas of the Midwest and then eventually the central and southern plains. This is a dome of heat that is producing widespread heat and some of it record setting for many. Not for us, though, not record setting, but enough to issue a heat advisory for most of us. Lake and Lakeshore Ashtabula County is the only one escaping this. Still going to be hot there, let's be honest. So the heat advisory goes into effect at 11 a.m. What is a heat advisory, you're asking? Well, it just means the heat indices or what it feels like to your skin will be over 100 degrees, degrees at times tomorrow. So let's time it out tomorrow morning out the door. If you got any outdoor plans, perhaps going for a walk, run, whatever it happens to be, do it then because by 10, 11 o'clock feels like 90. By noon, lunch outside, probably not a good option. Mid 90s, then we're up close to 100. Models taking it down a little bit. A couple reasons for that. I'll share that with you in a second, but still feeling like 98 degrees in the afternoon. So in terms of a heat index, what is it? It's the temperature your body feels when the heat and humidity are combined. So it's not just a temp without the humidity. It has the humidity kind of factored into that. And when you have more humidity, which we have had over the last week, you felt it. It's been muggy. There's less evaporation. Well, what is sweating on your body? It's evaporation that cools you, right? Because evaporation is a cooling process. And when there's so much moisture around that your sweat can't evaporate, your body overheats because it's not able to cool itself. And that's where it becomes problematic, especially out in that sunshine. Even the shade's going to be rough tomorrow as well. So we're forecasting 94 tomorrow. Models hinting at 94 degrees. So 94 or higher. Well, how many days do we average that per year? Actually, two days per summer. Last summer, we had three days at 94 or higher. Summer of 1988. I remember I had a train cake. It was chocolate, and my mom wanted me to walk it down to my neighbor's house. The whole thing melted by the time I got there. That was a hot summer. We had 14 days above 94 degrees, and then 52, we had 17 days. So we've done this before, but certainly this is going to be one of those days where we need to take precaution. All right, 94. I may lower that number. I'll explain why in the full forecast, but the reason why would hinge on those shower and thunderstorm chances. Will that kind of squash our temperature and bring us some relief? We'll discuss because some of those storms could be on the severe side. Matt, we've got it all for you in the forecast. Okay, we'll check back in. Thanks, Matt. Well, because of the heat, as you can imagine, cooling centers are popping up in some areas. Elyria opened its center yesterday, and it will remain open through tomorrow. Anyone who needs relief from the heat can go to Thomas O'Shore's South Recreation Center. That's from noon to 7 p.m. The city of Akron also announcing several cooling center locations. They're listed on your screen. And all will be open from 830 to 9 p.m. tomorrow. We have the addresses listed on WKYC.com.